Gardening is more than just a sport, it's a lifestyle. One that helps you relax and unwind while connecting with the nature that surrounds you. Besides, there's nothing more refreshing than watching the plants you care about so much growing right in front of your eyes. Hi viewers, and welcome back to another Bestie video. We understand, the hard work needed to grow a garden can quickly feel like an addition to your to-do list. Don't fear though, because in today's video we'll tell you the 17 best gardening hacks that'll help you get the hang of this wonderful hobby and make it part of your daily routine. From downloading a plant app, making cardboard seed cubes, investing in a heavy tarp, using chopsticks to support leaning plants to making your own seed tape and more. Watch until the end to find out all of them. Number 1. Always water your plants after it rains. Leaving pots unwatered because it rained is a rookie mistake in the gardening world. Unless it's a torrential downpour, a regular shower won't be an adequate amount to satisfy a potted plant's needs. They tend to dry out quicker than natural earth flower beds, so a potted plant should be watered, on average, every other day. Read up on your specific plant for how much water it needs to flourish. Too much can be just as damaging as too little. Do you have plants at home? How often do you water them? Tell us down below in the comments section. Number two, download a plant app. Identifying a plant specimen can make a world of difference when it comes to successful gardening. But with so much to learn, it can be daunting for a novice gardener. Make like you're a green-fingered god or goddess by seeking digital help. From plant identifiers that can instantly identify over 20,000 plants to garden trackers and planners, there's a garden app for everything. You just need to find it. Number three, squeeze out weeds. It's common sense. The more flowers you plant, the less room there is for weeds to grow. While this is true, there needs to be a little planning with this method. Choose ground covering plants that will suit the conditions. Plant those that prefer shade in dark corners and those that need sun in well-lit spots. Once they flourish and spread, they'll prevent weeds from getting the sunlight, water, and nutrients they need to survive. Number four, save your coffee grounds for the garden. Coffee grounds are an excellent addition to your gardening routine. You can use them indirectly in your compost, fertilizer, or mulch. Plus, they're a wonderful deterrent to add around the garden edge to keep critters away. This is one of the best gardening hacks and it's practically free. Number five, plant in a pot landscaping design. Ever wish you could reorganize your garden after seeing how the mature plants look? Here's a clever way to do it. You'll need a bunch of pots of the same size so they'll nest in each other. Put your plants in double pots and then bury them at ground level. When you want to change it, lift out the top pot and put in a different one. This method is also really slick for bringing plants indoors over the winter. This method is great for quickly changing out seasonal plants and allows for easy experimentation with color and placement of plants and flowers. Number six, cardboard seed tubes. For an easy and green way to start seeds, save your toilet paper and paper towel tubes. Cut the tubes into two inch lengths and set them in a waterproof tray. Fill the tubes with potting soil and plant your seeds. When the seedlings are ready to move to the garden, plant them right in their cardboard tube. The cardboard will decompose. Be sure to keep the tube below the soil surface so it doesn't wick moisture away from the roots. Number seven, healthy plant hydration. Water settling at the bottom of pots can lead to root rot. To combat this problem, cut up old sponges and put them in the bottom of the pot. The sponges retain moisture and create the necessary air space. They also help prevent water from flushing out the bottom. The sponge acts as a water reserve and keeps soil moist longer. Number eight, greenhouse from the salad bar. The next time you hit up the salad bar for lunch, save the plastic clamshell container. It can be reused as a mini greenhouse for starting seeds in the spring. When you're finished with your lunch, wash the container thoroughly. Use an awl and a hammer to punch a few small holes in the top part of the container for airflow. Then, fill the bottom half with potting mix or your own special seed starting soil. Plant your seeds, spreading them out in the container as suggested on the seed packet. Give the seeds a small drink of water and close the lid. Place the container in a sunny spot and patiently wait for your seeds to sprout. The clear plastic container acts as a greenhouse, allowing the sun and warmth to reach the plant while holding in moisture. Number nine, Epsom salt fertilizer trick. Epsom salt is known for its home remedy uses, but the garden might be the place that it shines the most. 
Like store-bought fertilizers, Epsom salt contains magnesium, which aids in seed germination, chlorophyll production, and absorption of vital nutrients like nitrogen and phosphorus. Most plants grow better with a ratio of two teaspoons to one gallon of water per month. You can also dilute the Epsom salt with water in a bottle and apply it as a foliar spray. Misting the plant greatly increases its growth. This works especially well on vegetables and roses. Number 10. Invest in a heavy-duty tarp. Nothing is quite so useful in landscaping projects as a durable tarp. It's excellent for moving leaves, weeds, soil, and small rocks quickly and safely when working in the yard. You can also use it to cover plants or landscaping materials on a truck bed when transporting them to protect projects from a fierce storm. Just don't leave a tarp laying out on the lawn for too long or it'll kill the grass. Number 11. Organize plant labels. Are you forever losing plant labels and with them the handy growing instructions found on the back? Use a hole punch to make a hole at one end of the label. Then thread your labels onto a key ring. Hang them up somewhere obvious in your garage or shed so they're always on hand for easy reference. Number 12. Use extra play sand to store garden tools safely. Fill a container of your choosing with play sand or construction sand if it's clean. Plant your garden tools in a pot, point down with the handles sticking straight up. This will prevent them from clanging together in a drawer or caddy, which can dull points and edges. The action of sticking your garden tools into sand also will clean them and help prevent rust. Select a container that will accommodate all your tools, and you may free up a valuable storage space in your tool chest. Number 13. Use chopsticks to support leaning plants. If your plants need a little help as they grow, you can use the wooden chopsticks from your takeout like small plant stakes. Secure them in the soil and use twine or plant tape to string up your droopy stems. Number 14. Use water bottle trick to water plants while you're on vacation. Fill a water bottle with water, leave the cap off, and quickly turn it upside down and push it in a few inches into the soil. The water will slowly seep into the soil and keep it moist. You can also buy terracotta plant spikes. They'll offer more control for finicky plants. Number 15. Milk Jug Watering Can These are excellent for watering seedlings that have just begun to sprout, seed trays, or even your house plants. They're effortless to fill, pour, and carry about. Plus, you won't have to worry that they'll leak or drip all over the place like watering cans do. Another great thing about them is that you can specify the amount of spray required by using a larger or smaller needle to make the holes. Heat up the needle and begin making holes in the lid of the bottle. This is a simple and inexpensive idea because you only need a clean milk jug with a lid, a needle, and a lighter for heating up the needle. Number 16 water at the right time. Knowing when to water your garden is also key. Ask a gardener when you should water your garden and they'll all tell you the same thing, early in the morning or in the evening when the sun goes down. You should never water your plants in the sunniest part of the afternoon when the heat is at its peak. It takes time for the water to sink in and soak into the soil. By watering in the morning, your garden will have enough to drink to get through the hottest part of the afternoon. This goes for the vegetable gardens and flower gardens. You shouldn't restrict greenery to just outdoors. Plants make a great addition to your house indoors as well. Plus, they're healthy too. Watch this video titled 8 Healthiest Plants to Have in Your House to find out what the healthiest indoor plants are. Now, back to garden hacks that you should know. Number 17. Make Your Own Seed Tape Planting seeds can be hard work, but you can make it easier by making your own seed tape beforehand. It's an easy project and it's pretty fun too. To make seed tape, you space out seeds along a roll according to the plant directions and glue them down. Then when it's time to plant, all you have to do is unroll your seed tape and bury it at the proper depth. Do you like or love gardening? Is it more like a passion or a hobby? Let us know in the comment section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait, what kind of Bestie would we be if we didn't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.